sunshine, laughter, and a whole lot of love. The Huggabug Club is fun, fun, fun for everyone. At the Huggabug Club, there's a lovable bug. There's a flower so sweet, and there's a bumblebee you just got to meet. We call them Oops and Daisy and Auntie Bumble. And then there's Huggabug too. Bugsters, let's put away our paints and brushes. We'll clean it up together, together, together. We'll clean it up together. We'll get the job done. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we work together, the happier we'll be. Make some magic! Yeah! Job. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe that's what I'll be when I grow up, Miss Judy. That's an idea, Sally. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a teacher in a school. I want to teach children to read and write. I'm going to be a firefighter and put out fires. <laughs> I'm going to be a doctor and help people if they're sick. Wow. I'm going to be President of the United States of America. <laughs> wow, wow Ernie, that's cool. <laughs> How about you, Maria? What do you want to be? Well, I'm not sure. I just don't know when I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> that's OK, Maria. You don't have to know right now. Of course not. You've got lots of time to make a decision. And lots of careers to choose from. of occupations to choose from. What's an occupation? Well, Kelly, occupation is the word for what you're going to be when you grow up. Yeah, that's right, Miss Judy. And another word for occupation is career. Your job is still another word for the kind of work you'll do when you grow up. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what will I be when I grow up? When I grow up, what will I be? If I put my mind to it, then the choice is. I love 
of flowers. Buzz, buzz. How sweet. Oh, thank you, Auntie Bumble. Actually, I was referring to Kelly. Oh, <laughs> well, pardon me. Oh, no, that's quite all right, Oopsie Daisy. You are also very sweet. <laughs> and speaking of something sweet, I know of another wonderful occupation, a honeybee farmer. Honey comes from a farm? Yes, some farmers raise bees on a special farm called a bee farm, and they gather the honey that the bees make. And then we can go buy the honey at the supermarket. That's correct, Maria. Let's all play a guessing game. Some of us will sing about an occupation, and the rest of us will guess what that occupation is. Ready? Ready! Ready. Ready. I deliver to your house most every day. I drop off letters, then I'm on my way. I wear a uniform and pick up parcels too. Can you guess what I do? Us inside the cockpit with my crew. Can you guess what I do? Maria! An airplane pilot! Correct! I make sure everybody follows rules. I catch the crooks. I'm very hard to fool. I wear a uniform. I'm a friend to you. Can you guess what I do? Spencer! You're a police officer. Correct. Well done, Bugsters. <laughs> Yay! I'd sure like to meet a police officer in person. I'd sure like to see a real police car. That would be so cool. Would you really like that? Yeah! Then let's make some magic! Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, Busters! See you later! Huggabug Club! Huggabug Club! Huggabug Club! Whoa! <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> Look, there's a police car! <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Huggabug. <laughs> Howdy! How you doing, sir? <laughs> Rootin' tootin' terrific! <laughs> Hi, kids. How y'all doing? Hi! Officer Bob, these are my friends, and they'd love to hear you talk about being a police officer. Well, I would love to talk to them. As he said, my name's Officer Bob. This is my partner, Officer Bill. We're both policemen, and as part of our job, some of the things that we have to do is to protect your town and make it safe. Sometimes we have to arrest bad people, but we do a lot of good things, too, like help people change flat tires when they're up on the interstate, and sometimes we'll have to get lost people found, and, and even kids sometimes. And something else that we do every once in a while is we have to help deliver babies, okay? <laughs> we do a whole lot of good things, but the biggest thing that I want you all to know is that policemen are your friends. Policemen will always be your friend. And if you ever need help, or if you ever need to tell somebody something, but you don't know who to tell, you go find a policeman and tell him. We are always going to be your friends, okay? For a policeman to do his job, he has to have a lot of tools, just like anybody else. And one of the tools that we have to have is a badge, okay? Our badge is what gives us the authority to do our job. Without that, we can't do the job. We have a lot of other tools, too, though, that we carry. One of them is a gun. Another is a beeper so that our bosses can get in touch with us when they need us. And we have a walkie-talkie because sometimes we have to talk to them, okay? And they'll call us on the beeper and then we'll pick up the radio and ask them what they want us to do. But we have a lot of other tools too. One of them is bullets. We have extra bullets here. We have a nightstick on the back. We have handcuffs because every once in a while we do have to arrest some bad people. And you know what we do with bad people when we pick them up? We put them in the back seat of the police car. <laughs> Would y'all like to sit in the back seat of the police car? Yeah! All right, yeah, okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Okay, slide on over. 
Okay, is that a comfortable seat? Yeah. No. One of the things that we have in there is a switch to turn the lights on up on the top of the police car. Anybody want to turn it on? Okay, Grace, that's the light right there. Go ahead and push that switch. There we go. Wow. We is it pretty fun being a police officer? Sometimes it's a lot of fun, but sometimes there's a whole lot of paperwork to do, just like <laughs> being in school. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Bob. Thank you, Officer Bill, for telling us all about being a police officer. Bugsters, come on out and let's thank the officers. <laughs> that was super cool, Huggabug. <laughs> Rootin' tootin' T-Rapper! <laughs> I'll bet it takes a lot of hard work to become a police officer. Yes. To achieve your goals, you have to work hard and concentrate. And sometimes, you might even get angry or frustrated if you don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third time you try. But you have to keep on trying. I tried to tie my shoe for three months. Finally, I learned how. <laughs> I remember when I fell off my bike six times before I learned how to ride my two-wheeler. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Try again, try again, soon you'll get it right. Concentrate and do your best, try with all your something, you have to keep on trying. That means you have to practice. I just started taking piano lessons. I love to practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelly, please play a tune for yeah! us. so I practice every day. I love to play the cello. I practice whenever I can. And I love to read, so I practice by learning a new word each day. Practice makes perfect. Ballet, I love the ballet. I dream of dancing in a show. I do a pirouette, I do an arabesque, and I dance a minuet on my toes. Practice, practice makes perfect. I'll practice till I need to rest. I may not get it right the first time, so I'll practice and try to do my best. Baseball, how I love 
of baseball. One ball, two strikes, grand slam, home run. I pitch my fastball, I'm in the big leagues. And the crowd tells me I'm number one. Practice, practice makes perfect. I'll practice till I need to rest. I may not get it right the first time, so I'll practice and try to do my best. Reading, how I love reading. I want to learn new words each day. I want to be a politician. Maybe president of the USA. Music, how I love music. I dream I'm in the symphony. I play piano. I play the cello. But for now, I'll simply play the re mi. Practice, practice makes perfect. Choose. If you work at it, practice and have fun. And you may not always get it right the first time, second time, <laughs> or even the third time. Start out slowly, take your time, and oops, remember, it's okay to make mistakes. I made mistakes when I was learning my alphabet, but now I'm learning to read. That's great. And I bet you still make some mistakes now. But Making mistakes helps you to learn. How could you learn from your mistakes? <laughs> because, Kim, when you make a mistake, that means you tried. And when you try, you learn. The next time you try, you'll probably do it better. Learning is a lot like planting a seed. The more you learn, the more you grow. <laughs> we know a song about learning. Yeah. You learn the alphabet, then you read. Play, learn and grow, play, learn and grow, plant a learning seed. Reading books will make you smart. Have somebody read to you, that's a start. Play, learn and grow, play, learn and grow, plant a learning seed. Learning numbers one, two, three, counting up to ten can be. knows this song. Let's pretend to be firefighters. And this is our fire truck. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Hurry, hurry, drive that fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive that fire truck. It's very exciting. <laughs> yes, it is, Auntie Bumble. And Bugsters, what's even more exciting is that you can be whatever you want to be. Yes, 
It is possible to realize your dreams and become what you want to be when you grow up. If you study hard and practice, practice, practice. Remember to ask questions and don't be afraid to make mistakes. And play, learn, grow, and have fun with your friends. May I have a power packed hug? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're my friend and I'm yours forever. You can call me Hugabug. Oops, a daisy. Um, to Bumbug. Just call us when you need a hug. There.